Well, good morning, guys. I want to do a real short nugget, Life Nuggets 111, called The Levels Blessing, The Blessing Part 2, from my level, from my blessing yesterday on 110. So anyway, here we go. As I was driving in this morning, I'm thinking about levels. Everybody say levels. You know, there are levels of blessing. There are levels of authority. It is impossible for everybody to be the same. When you try to make everybody the same, nobody gets blessed. Can I say amen? And uh, there are levels in heaven. There's the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. There are the angels, Michael and Gabriel. They're the, the angels uh, in, in a business. There's the owner, the CEO. There's the board. There's uh, managers. There's a... Uh, uh, the employees uh, in church, you have the, the the fivefold ministers, the board, you have the, uh, you know, the elders, you have teachers, you have, you know, various levels of authority. My friends, you can't get away from levels, and there are levels of the blessing. Can I get an amen? Now, to get the blessing, as I said yesterday, you must first come to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive him, and by so doing, you receive the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians 3.14, that is the blessing, the promise given to Abraham, amen, and his seed, and I'm telling you, there is a difference in those who have the blessing and those who don't. Well, you may ask quickly, well, Brother Danny, how do I receive the blessing? Well, that's it. You receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you re then you receive, as you do so, you receive the blessing. You see, my friends, there are two kingdoms at work, the kingdoms of God and the kingdoms of this world or the kingdoms of darkness. And so those who don't have the blessing, they are fighting, they are striving. As I said yesterday, the blessing of the Lord uh, brings wealth, but he adds no toil to it. So people without the Spirit, without the blessing given to Abraham, without the promise of the Spirit, I mean, they are striving and greedy and grasping for this blessing that's only, number one, received. Say, I receive you, Lord. So you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. You receive the Holy Spirit. You receive the blessing. And then once you do, my friends, you have to then obey. That's what I, so you receive it, and then you obey the blessing. In other words, you don't grieve the Holy Spirit. You put the word in. You become a disciple. Amen. You become to, you begin to walk in the Spirit. Keep in step with the Spirit. Obey the impulses and promptings of the Holy Spirit. And then you begin to grow in the blessing and grow in the kingdom of God. Can I get an amen? You seek first the kingdom. Matthew six thirty three, and then all these things are given unto you that those without the Spirit are striving for. You can see it in demonstrations. You can see it all over the world. You can see it in countries trying to steal uh, those with the blessing secrets and, and ways of doing things. You see, they're trying to get this blessing, but it's only received through the Lord Jesus Christ and then it's obeyed and followed. Can I get an amen? As thirdly, you walk in the Spirit, and you begin to walk in the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then fourthly, you give into the blessing, so you you receive it, you obey it, you walk in it. Amen. And then you give into the blessing with your time, with your talent, with your treasure with your obedience, with your earnestness, with your diligence, with your persistence. Hallelujah for Galatians 6, 9 says, Do not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a blessing, reap a harvest, if you don't give up and quit. Some of my friends don't give up and quit today. Receive the blessing. Good morning, Brother Thomas Long. Amen. Receive the blessing. Walk in the blessing. Obey the blessing and give in to the blessing. And it will come back to you some 30, some 60, and some 100 times. Can I get an amen? And God will do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask, imagine, or think. So, my friends, receive the blessing. 
and understand their levels. Don't get mad at those above you, but seek to follow them as they follow Christ and do what they do. Amen. And go after the destiny that God has for you in the blessing of the Lord, which brings wealth. And he adds no trouble. He adds no sorrow. And he adds no toil to it. So my friends, if you're not catching anything today, cast your net on the other side. And there'll be 153 of the biggest fish you've ever seen. Can I get an amen? Hey, Jerry, how's it going this morning? But guys, I'm out of here. I got to get to work. So I'm stoked the blessing. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. I'll see you next time on Life Nuggets. Peace.